Hello again. Start doing my third video now. Thanks for the, all the people that have <coughs> left comments about my videos. Especially you, Jason Takes Haddonfield. It's been good talking to you. Right then, let's get on with it. First up, the Millennium Edition of Reanimator, the US version, but it's multi region so it plays. And it's got so many cool extras on it. I actually love this film. Brilliant. Then have the Tartan Grindhouse, Bride of Reanimator. That's a good film. And then Beyond Reanimator. Ah, it's not the best one. And then I got the first Rika film. I actually thought this film was really good. Something different. I really enjoyed it. And then Rika 2, which was that was quite good fun as well. <coughs> then I have the Blu-ray of the first Resident Evil. Good film. Resident Evil Apocalypse. I enjoy that, but it's not as good as the first. Then Extinction. That was a good film. And then the Steelbook of Resident Evil Afterlife. I actually thought that was a great film. And then Retribution, which was which is good. It wasn't brilliant. And then have the first rest stop. Didn't think that was too good myself. Still got to get the second one. Same as Roadkill as well. <clears throat> got the first one that. Still haven't got the second one. On my to get list, but you know. I'm still doing it. Then I have the first special edition Blu-ray. Saw. Still one of the best endings ever. When I went to see that. Don't know anyone that guessed it. It was him lying on the floor. But one guy at work said he did, but that's bullshit. Second one. Saw 2 was okay. Saw 3 Extreme Edition. That was good. Saw 4 Extreme Edition. Saw 5 Extreme Edition again. Then saw 6 Extreme Edition. And that was okay. Then with the cool, you just can't really see it, but it's a hologram cover there. <coughs> And I also have it in DVD because I had to update my Blu-ray player, so I had to go out and buy the DVD. Got it updated and it worked. First scary movie. Love that film as well, but favourite is still the third one. The second one, the fourth and fifth one was absolute shit. And then Scream, American Collector's Edition one, Collector Series. Really like that film, but for the ending was crap why they didn't just kill him instead of standing there stabbing each other before they'd actually killed you know kill them so that <laughs> they got killed themselves i would have killed them you know then stabbed myself afterwards scream two it's okay scream three yeah that was all right scream four same again ending was just absolute shit spend too much, oops, something just fell off. Spent too much time talking. Then I've got Screamers, the hunting. Plus, you also get the first one as well, so both of them on that. And then Silent Hill, Blu ray. Silent Hill Revelation, which is okay. Then the Silent Night, Deadly Night. Brilliant film, really good. This is the American DVD. And cut and uncensored. Might be pretty collectible now. Same as that. It's American one as well. To this set, Silent Night, Deadly Night, and Silent Night, Deadly Night Part Two. I must admit, Part Two was crap. And nearly the whole film just going over the first one. What's the point? And then the also the American three disc set of Silent Night, Deadly Night Three. Better watch out. Silent Night, Deadly Night Four, Initiation, and The Toy Maker. I haven't actually watched them yet. Wait until closer to Christmas, it's only March. And then Single White Female, not really a horror really, but... And then Single White Female 2, The Psycho, which <coughs> everyone knows is pretty shit. And the awesome Sleepaway Camp, with that really wacky fucking ending there, man. Brilliant. Sleepaway Camp 2, it's the American one as well. Sleepaway Camp 3, that's the British one. Teenage Wasteland, and the absolute shit. Sleepaway Camp 
before. Uh, well, sorry, Return to Sleepaway Camp. Hardly any gore in that film. Terrible. And sometimes they come back, which was about the second time I watched it. Sometimes they come back again. Evil never dies. That was okay. And then sometimes they come back for more. I enjoyed that as well. <laughs> what it was. And then the original species on Blu-ray. I also got the species collector's edition, or collection. Species, species 2, species 3, and species 4, The Awakening. Yeah, I got it cheap off eBay, so that was all right. Then, Starship Troopers, Blu-ray. One of the best films ever made. Don't know why it was a flop. Starship Troopers 2, Hero of the Federation. I've seen it, that's why it's not opened. Starship Troopers 3, Marauder. Eh, better than the second one, I suppose. And the AC, ABCs of Death, which some were good, some were total shit. Not as good as VHS. Now down to the last one on this unit. It's the remake of the Amityville Horror. Which is okay, I thought. Then the original Amityville Horror. Still the best one of the series. Amityville 2, The Possession. That's the collector's edition. And also the collector's edition of Amityville 3D with the glasses. Didn't really work. And that's where the films start getting pretty shit, but I want to get them all. Amityville, The Evil Escapes. The Amityville Curse. Shit. Amityville, A New Generation. It's pretty shit as well. And then the more modern one, found footage style. Amityville Haunting, which... <laughs> it was okay, but you could just tell it wasn't the house in the Amityville films. <laughs> Nothing like it, way too small. Then the American DVD of the Blair Witch Project, which I imported because it came out on DVD in America before it even came out of the cinema here. So I got ahead of everyone with that. I thought it was okay. Better the second, third time I watched it. Book of Shadows, Blair Witch 2, special edition. I actually like that film. Gets so much shit, but <laughs> I enjoyed it. The Cell, that was good. Still got the second one. I heard it's shit, but I've got to get my sequels keep buying them all the time and the collector on blu-ray that was a really good film and then for some reason didn't come out on blu-ray over here the collection that was good as well a bit over the top but i like shit like that two disc collector's edition of the crow classic film that one the crow 2 city of angels it was, that was okay and the crow salvation i can't even really remember much about that and then the best British horror films of the last 10 years, The Descent. Brilliant. I don't know why the Americans had the happy ending tacked on. Should have kept it to our, our version. It's much better with her dying at the end. Well, you, you see she was going to die. Descent Part 2. That was okay. And the original Evil Dead. Got the steel book. See that in the back? Brilliant artwork on that. Yep. <laughs> Then Evil Dead 2 Steelbook as well. Great picture on the back there. Glad I got them. I ordered the first one. Well, the, the remake one. For some reason they sent me Evil Dead 2, so I kept it and reordered the first one. And then the Elite DVD of The Evil Dead. Loads of stuff on there. Brilliant. And another copy of The Evil Dead 2 on Blu-ray. But the new version is much better. And then the limited edition... Army of Darkness, American one. There's my number there. 1,808 of 30,000. Great film. And then the remake of The Evil Dead. There's some people that don't like it, but me personally, I thought it was alright. But shit, at the end, how easy she killed it. Killed it, though, but there you go. And then the complete anthology of The Exorcist box set. So. Really good there. The mini and the prequel. The Exorcist, the beginning. The Exorcist, Exorcist 2, the Heritage, and Exorcist 3, which I must admit, I think The Exorcist 3 is a really good film. I enjoyed it. And then the Tartan Asia Extreme Collector's Edition with the eye. Great cover there. And then the eye 2. 
another one there yeah I think that's actually from from Asia that one yep it's a good film and then the i10 which was quite a strange film really but does the series doesn't it and then there's the remake of the i didn't hold up to the original at all then we had the fear strange film and then the fear 2 halloween night where you can just tell it's not he's not wooden and it's just a guy in the suit <laughs> terrible and then fox double feature from america the fly and the fly 2 the remakes both of them were quite good i thought and then as it's again premier asia the grudge and then also the grudge 2 two disc collector's edition it's a good film as well then we have the american version which i actually thought was easier to understand than the the other one the original we knew what was going on more that's an extended director's cut and the Grudge 2, the remake, and then on Blu-ray, Grudge 3. And we have the Hamiltons, still got to get this, the follow-up, but I will get it. And Horton in Connecticut, that was okay, based on true events, but there's an everything now. Still got to get the second one, it's just come out on Blu-ray over here. And then the original Hills of Eyes, double disc one that is, absolutely brilliant. That's from Anchor Bay, UK. Quite a lot of stuff on there. Pretty good. And then the terrible Hills of Eyes Part 2. The flashbacks by the dogs, man. By the dog, the house agent. Fucking stupid. And then the remake, Hills of Eyes. That's version to die for. Absolutely brilliant. And Hills of Eyes 2. Not as good as the first. It was okay. And the remake of The Hitcher, which I thought was quite good. But... Not as good as good old Rutger Hauer in the original special edition one, brilliant one, and then the absolute crap Hitcher 2. I've been waiting. Okay, then that's it for this shelf, and this unit. That's all been done. Next up, start on this one. So I'll leave your comments below again, <coughs> and hopefully we can have a bit of banter about it. Okay, then right. Thanks a lot. Off to work in a minute. Okay, see you later, guys.